ครับสักหน่อยหนึ่งเรามีเวลา uh, because today we have press and we also have some Thai directors in the audience so so ได้เลยครับทุกอย่างผมมองแล้วก็เห็นอะไรมันโทษนี้อะไรครับ I'm very very excited because this is very unusual event to uh, talk to the director after the first premiere screening in Bangkok. Uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Bobby, and uh, I used to be the radio DJ. And uh, for the moment, I'm writing the script for my own project for next year as a filmmaker. And I'm the music lover and also the the, the movie lovers. So I watch nearly over 800 to 1,000 films in a year. So that's why I knew you since 1999 from the leaders. And uh, between the period of 2000, uh, the Pusher trilogy is the best one. I love it. I love it very much uh, because your style, you can uh, turn things as a violent word, violent things as a single things, you know. Even the dialogues, the conversation, the way the actor, and especially the music that you put it in some shots is very best. Sometimes the music can can can, can make me feel uh, about the feeling of the of the characters, even even no conversation or anything. Uh, the killing people in pushing is easier than the seventeen year old boy just straight into the Seven Eleven and bought. One pack of cigarettes. I love it very much. And your your style, I can say, is very simple but different. And I feel that you use the same way in drive, in drive. Because I talk to you frankly, don't get mad on me, okay? I hate the plot. This is sucks. Okay, this is like a Hollywood cliche movie. They did all the time for the decades, uh, over and over again. Just change the lead character and change the uh, new model cars and put some crap music or something. But uh, you can make the simple things turn out into the very special way and your own style. Very outstanding and. That's what I heard that uh, Ryan Gosling is the one who selects you to direct this project. If you didn't direct it, I think he won't play it at all. So it deserves for you for uh, the country festival this year as the best director. Uh -huh. So I salute you. <laughs> okay. And, uh, okay. Uh, my first question, sorry, I, I, I have a lot of question in my mind, I just... Uh, I didn't try. like the plot either. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Uh, the first question, I I read some issues about you in the site. Uh, first time, um, after you read the script, you you don't really want to do the project at all, but uh, why you change your mind, that's the first question. The second, after discussion or meeting with the actors like Ryan or some crews, and then uh, it said that you, you, you uh, Ryan Gosling drive you back to the hotel or somewhere else, and you listen to the music in his car. It's, it's like kind of a cheesy music. If we want to get this, uh, this are your speed wagon something, I can't find this feeling, and you just click it, that hey, what, 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 why won't you push this? kind of cheesy music in the scene and every time the, the driver and listen to this kind of music, you know what, I love this idea, I love it very much, it's very funny, it's weird, it's simple, but it's funny, but you did not use it in this film, why? Okay, and uh, the third and also my last question is, uh, okay, this is unusual either. So you are here because uh, we all know that you 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 shooting a new film, a new project in in, in Bangkok or I don't know Bangkok or somewhere else in Thailand. So uh, I, uh, frankly, I want to tell you that uh, in my opinion, I really disappointed every single film shot in Thailand 
every every single film. It, uh, I know that I think it's right or wrong because uh, I feel that many foreigners think about Bangkok is a very dangerous city, very dark city. Bangkok sucks, fucked up, people dumb, naive, corruption, sex, drugs, you know, boy, bargains, you know. I don't know that what you think and why you choose Bangkok as a new background of your new project. Do you, do you have any uh, new vision or new, uh, I don't know about Bangkok, why you choose it? Thank you very much. I'm Bobby, thank you. I'm your big fan. Anyway, if it turns out bad or the best, I can't hardly wait to see your new film. Okay, thank you. Yeah, well, I'm back here. I don't know how to answer this. <laughs> thank you very much. And I agree with everything you said. <laughs> Maybe something about the music that he asked. Yeah. Uh, well, I always wanted because you to use, use a lot of music. Yeah, well, I wanted to use electronic score, so the idea was to um, make the film electronic music because it was counterbalanced the masculinity of the car world and the stunt world of America. We had very feminine European music. And then um, in terms of the story, I mean, you must understand that Universal's approach, Universal had basically bought a book called Drive, which was a 100-page existentialistic novel about a stuntman in Los Angeles. Then I guess Universal read it and had a heart attack because it was not a movie that they thought it was going to be. So they spent a long time trying to get a script out of the book that was more mainstream. Black, fast, and furious, I guess. And um, they couldn't, essentially. And so when I took it over, I changed a lot of things. And most of it is that I went back to the book. But I kept the, the plot structure because the plot was very simplistic. It's very simple. It's very accessible. And that was very important for a film like this, that it had to be so simply told. And because simplicity is good to work with, because it's a cliche, and cliches work. You just have to make them different. That's the only difference. And uh, what was your other question? You had so many questions. Um, why I chose Bangkok? Well, um, I've always liked Bangkok. I mean, I've been coming here for about five years on and off, just purely on holidays and vacations, and I shot a few commercials here, but I've always liked Bangkok as a city, and I thought it could, be, it could be really interesting to make a movie about the dark side of the drugs and the gambling and the prostitution and the sex and all these things, which is the reason why people come to Bangkok. <laughs> so, uh, but you don't have to do it like everybody else does it. You have to do it very interestingly. เขาคุณมาพี่ถามเรื่องเพลงนะที่นั่นคุณนิโคลัสก็ตอบว่าเขาก็พยายามจะบาลานซ์โดยที่เขาใช้เพลงที่มันมีความคือบาลานซ์ความเป็นนักสกูลีนะคือหนังมันเป็นหนังผู้ชายมากแต่เพลงมันมันมีเพลงมีความกุ้งกิ้งแบบผู้หญิงอยู่ก็เขาพยายามจะบาลานซ์กันแล้วก็พูดถึงย้อนไปนิดนึงถึงดั้งเดิมของโปรเจกต์เรื่องนี้มันเป็นอย่างที่บอกตอนต้นคือว่าสตูดิโอยูนิเวอร์แซมมีสคริปต์อยู่แต่ว่าเขาไม่ได้อยากจะให้บอกที่ที่คุณนิโคลัสเขียนเนี่ยเป็นเป็นหนังเพราะว่ามันมันมันมันมันมันเป็นอย่างนี้อ่ะมันไม่ใช่ฟาสต์ฟิลมั้งคือจริงๆแล้วหนังหนังนี้มันมาหนังสือทุกโปรกิสบายเจมส์ซันส์เจมส์เจมส์ซันส์เจมส์ซันส์คือหนังสือนี่มันเป็นหนังสือแค่ร้อยหน้าของคนชื่อเจมส์ซันส์เป็นนักเขียนดังเหมือนกันซึ่งมันเป็นนิยายแบบเอ็กซิสเชนลิสต์มากก็คือเนี่ยเป็นเรื่องตัวตนค้นหาเซนเซนหน่อยๆอะไรเงี้ยมันไม่ใช่หนักบูอ่ะก็ก็สุดท้ายแล้วพอคุณนิคลาสมาทําเขาก็กลับไปสู่ไอความเป็นหนังสือนั้นจริงๆคืออย่างเงี้ยคือค่อนข้างจะซิมเปิลมากๆแล้วก็มันแอบสแตกมากๆในหลายอย่างคือมันมันมันไม่ใช่หนังบูอ่ะมันไม่ใช่หนังแอคชั่นแล้วก็คร่าวๆประมาณนี้นะครับ